hello everyone welcome to explanation so in last video i covered section 5.1 from nc license exam syllabus and today i'll be covering section 5.2 and inside 5.2 i'll be covering services and error detection and correction and next videos i'll come with other points okay so without delay let's go to the section so first uh, from 5.2 the first question is what is the primary function of data link layer in osi model okay so if you see the primary functions of data link layer so in twin connection is not the option logical addressing and routing is not the option physical addressing and access to media yes this is the option and error detection and correction this is also the answer so you can see that there are two options but they have asked the primary function okay so for primary function physical addressing and access to media is the correct answer let's go to question number two which services provided by data link layer ensure that frame are delivered without error okay so the error free or the frame de uh, frame that is delivered is not erroneous that is provided always by error detection and correction techniques so b is the correct answer let's go to next question <coughs> okay so what is the purpose of frame synchronization in data link layer okay so if you have studied data link layer framing technique so frame synch frame synchronization bit it is always used to ensure the beginning and end of a frame okay that whether a frame has beginning or whether a frame has end so a is the correct answer next is which services is responsible for avoiding congestion and avoiding congestion and managing the flow of data between two, two devices okay so flow control technique always ensures the flow of data so b number is the correct answer <coughs> let's go to next question what does the address resolution protocol provide that data link layer okay address resolution protocol uh, just wait a minute what was the question what does the address resolution ERP provide a data link layer okay so uh, at data link layer we always deal with the physical addressing okay so B is the correct answer which mechanism is used by data link layer for efficient and orderly frame delivery okay efficiently and or uh, orderly frame delivery means the suppose this is the frame if you break it okay so the frame is delivered as the sequence in which it was broken like first one this second one this third fourth three like this so for this we use this frame sequencing method so c is the correct answer what service is responsible for detecting and recovering from error that occur during the transmission of frame so it is error detection and correction so this is the correct answer which sub layer okay so for this question data link layer it is divided into two sub layer that is logical link layer and media access layer okay which sub layer of data link layer is responsible for media access control okay media access control so, so it is given by the mac layer that is media access control layer so d is the correct answer what is the primary function of logical link layer sub layer in the data link layer okay mm -hmm. so the primary function of logical link layer is to provide the addressing fine so logical addressing is the correct answer <coughs> next question is which protocol is commonly used for dynamic address resolution in tcp ip protocol okay so dynamic address resolution means it is used to resolve the address from physical address to ip address so address resolution protocol is the correct answer you can see this uh, there is answer in this question also so arp is the correct answer okay so next let's go to next section that is error detection and correction okay so what is the primary purpose of error detection in the data communication to detection okay you see the word is detection to eliminate all the error in data no to identify and indicate the presence of error in the transmitted transmitted data yes this can be one option next is to correct error automatically no to ensure faster data transmission no so b that is to identify and indicate the presence of error in the transmitted data is the correct answer which error detection technique involve appending an extra bit okay so if you have studied in parity checking we append the extra bit known as the parity bit okay so parity is the correct answer <coughs> which error detection method use a polynomial division method okay so again if you have studied this error detection methods you can see in crc that is cyclic redundancy check we do the polynomial division okay so c is the correct answer next is what is the purpose of checksum in an error detection to add an extra bit for correction to identify the location of error no 
to count the number of error no to generate redundancy for error detection yeah so checksum it is used to generate the redundancy for error detection which error detection method is capable for both detecting and correcting okay so if you know a b and c all three are only used for error detection whereas hamming code is used for both detecting and correcting the error what is the advantage of using crc over checksum okay crc provides faster uh, error detection crc can correct error automatically crc is more efficient for long data stream and crc is simpler okay so crc is mainly used for long data stream so c is the correct answer and next in error detection in error correction using hamming code how many parity bits are added to data block so the answer is log 2 n plus 1 okay so if you have gone through the hamming code portion you must have known this is the correct answer what is the purpose of forward error uh, correction technique in data communication okay to correct the error automatically without retransmission to detect error and request no to eliminate the need of error detection no to minimize the impact of error network no so answer is to correct error automatically without retransmission let's go to the next question which error correction technique involves sending redundant bit along with the data okay so checksum is the uh, sorry uh, the question is which error which error correct error correction technique not detection okay so uh, this is the detection technique detection technique detection technique so correction technique involves sending redundant bit along with the data forward error correction sorry okay so these three are detection technique so don't get confused and this is the correction technique okay so that's all for this video in next video i'll come up with other two topic that is flow control and data link protocol okay so till then thank you and stay safe